What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Look what we got here today. Tim's WRX. So we've got some good stuff going on, Tim. How pumped are you for today? I'm super pumped because I want to drive the car <laughs> super fast. <laughs> it's been a really long time since we've actually been able to work on this car and we've just been waiting for delicious tuning to be able to have a slot open for us to get on the dyno. Now, there are a couple of things that you have to do before we can actually get on the dyno. And that is number one, flex fuel. And number two, we also needed a boost controller. So as you guys probably know, Delicious Tuning has their own flex fuel kit as well as their own boost controller, which I'm using on my car as well. And even on the R35 GTR. So first of all, I'm gonna leave the links to Delicious Tuning down below. As you guys know, we use them for all of our cars. Everything that we can possibly use Delicious Tuning for, we absolutely do. If you guys need any tuning, any flex fuel, boost controller, any of that stuff you guys can find all of this at their website which will be in the description box below Tim is gonna go ahead and start installing the flex fuel kit right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and start installing the boost controller which is gonna plug in right here and this thing will be ready to go on the dyno We are all done. We have the new delicious tuning boost controller installed here. We have the new flex fuel sensor installed back there. And then the, I'm guessing like, I guess you'd call it like the flex fuel controller or something like that installed right here as well. Not only do we do that, finish this off and make sure that the car is reliable on the dyno. Oh, we are also gonna be topping the car off with some 5W30 Valvoline oil. As always, huge thank you to Valvoline. That's what we use in all the cars. Full synthetic 5W30 in Tim's WRX. And you guys know that I use like the VR1 in the race cars and all of that stuff. So huge Huge, huge shout out to Valvoline for keeping all of our cars nice and reliable. So we're gonna go top off with this and it's dino time, Tim. Dino time. is on the dyno now if you guys haven't seen the build series on this wx i highly suggest you guys go check it out it's been so much fun the subject basically has every single bolt on that you can do including a newer 2019 sti turbo on it everything except building the engine has pretty much been done on this car so it does have a cata downpipe which is probably gonna limit us just a little bit but it's still gonna be really really awesome and most importantly a very reliable daily driver for tim this is gonna be pretty awesome tim bro what are your guesses here I, I want 300. 300? Yeah. I think you can get 300. It's not a hard ask. I don't know how much these cars make. Tim, Tim is the, the Subaru guru here, so 300? You, usually with the stuff that I put on, that's what you're going for. And that's why I got like a safe car. Yeah, like there. when I used to work on people's cars, they'd be like, hey, I want to get to 300 with my WRX, and this is what I'd tell them to do. And I told everybody, we basically have every single bolt on that you can do without building the engine. So. And we're doing E85, so I'll probably get over oh, 300. I forgot, yeah. <laughs> you're for sure gonna get over 300. As you guys saw in the beginning, we installed the flex fuel kit, so we will be doing E85. Tim, this is gonna be the perfect daily drive. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna, I'm in, I'm super excited, and I can't wait to drive yeah. it. Now, after we have all this done, we can throw some some good mods on the exterior. Get the exterior all spiced up. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> we got, we got plans, guys. We got plans. So unfortunately, just like any other dyno day, we had a small little hiccup here and we actually needed new coil packs. Lucky for us, which I didn't even know until today, Bill from Delicious actually makes, let me get this guy for me, Tim. Eat. They actually make their own coil packs. Look at this, Dude, they're freaking sick. And they're super, super nice. We are swapping out the coil packs really fast. I think Bill was having some sort of timing issue, right, Tim? This is a nice little upgrade for the car and we'll be good to go. 2,000 years later. Coil packs one in. Hopefully that fixes the issue. We'll do that. Oh, yeah. How'd you do that on 91? I have no idea. Holy crap. 
11 horsepower? What the hell? What turbo is it? It's the newer STI turbo. It's a higher compression engine, so. That's crazy. That's really good. And front mount. What's up? It's a front mount too. Yeah. ETS, so that helps. Solid. Oh my gosh, Bill. 311 horsepower. Yes. Over 300, and that was the first pull on 91. Listen, I, uh, you know, I wanted 300, I got it. So you got a little bit more than that. Whatever we get from here, I'm just like this. What okay. What's it gonna do on 85? It's easy, like 50 horsepower. Probably, yeah. You're gonna be close to 400. That's scary. For that. That's scary for that motor. Yes, <laughs> very scary. Seven on that one, a little yeah. bit safer. It's cleaner too. Yeah. So, we've got Bill over here. I'm gonna put it to the special juice bill. Uh -huh. Let's see how much more power this thing can actually make. I really didn't think that we're gonna go that far over 300 horsepower in 91. So now I'm very curious to see what E85 is gonna make. E85 is usually like a 40 to 60 horsepower jump. That is crazy. All right, Tim, first E85 over here. Yeah. All 370 horsepower. That is crazy. And the thing is, even ever ever since we got this car from Utah, we have never ripped on it really. No, the car's we, never we been, haven't been able to. Yeah, the car's never been able to like really. So now it's like, it's better than it ever was. You're going from zero to 370 horsepower. So. RIP transmission. <laughs> You ready for this, brother? 
Yeah. How pumped are you right now, dude? I am super pumped because we have not driven this car. Like, <laughs> really, in a long time. We really time. haven't, no. Give us a good rip. I'm not doing first gear because that'll blow my transmission <laughs> instantly. <laughs> the uh, suspension can't handle it. No. <laughs> suspension is next on our list here. <laughs> Whoa. Stoked. I am super excited. <laughs> Can't wait to drive it around. Oh, dude. The sauce. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. This thing is awesome. All right guys, we have made it home. And as you could probably tell with these last couple of videos, I have not been feeling too hot. Me and Tim actually went and got COVID tested, but we were both negative. I went to the doctor and I actually just have like a super gnarly sinus infection, like right in my eyeballs and my nose. Like it's destroying me. I know I've been a little bit weird in these videos and that's, that's why I just have a super gnarly sinus infection, not contagious or anything like that, thankfully. Been a little bit stuffed up but Tim's car is freaking amazing. I'm so happy for him and I cannot wait to start on the exterior build of the car now. Delicious Tuning did a fantastic job. The car made 370. I've never heard of one of these cars making that much power without a built engine or anything. So we are gonna have to watch out for his transmission. We are actively looking for an STI trans. If anybody has an STI transmission that wants to sell it, we will buy it if you're in SoCal. Uh, cause we are gonna, we are gonna definitely need one. That is gonna be it for today's video. Uh, we have lots of work to do on the R33, so I'm about to head to the shop and we're gonna knock out the LMG T2s on the 33. So that's what you guys will see next. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Bill from Delicious for giving us the sauce and making Tim's WX awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.